you're very comfortable being in front of the camera, but today you play a slightly different role, Master of Ceremonies. What does that mean? Well, I'm the conduit. I'm, I'm going to be the, the voice of this organization, along with Amy Garcia, to celebrate these amazing talents that have been uh, uh, you know, selected to be honored tonight. And uh, they represent such a diverse group of, of, uh, of artists, and they have uh, and they represent a body of work that is you know, impressive and, uh, and, and certainly deserving of recognition, especially given you know, the challenges of this business. Uh, but they have, they have raised the bar. They, they are great role models for any artist, and especially Latino artists. And we are, we're very proud of them as a community. You mentioned, you know, NHMC, their organization, trying to portray Latinos in a positive light. Luckily, we have organizations such as this one that's doing that. Do you feel that in 2013, enough is being done uh, to recognize and to bring Latinos, uh, that talent, to, you know, to the forefront? Well, I know NHMC is working very hard, but I don't think enough is being done. I don't think what, uh, I mean, we're 60% of the population. And we're still hovering our three, four percent, maybe a little more in television. But, you know, where are the Latino television shows since Ugly Betty, since George Lopez? I mean, we proved that we could, you know, create successful shows both as a one hour dramedy and half hour sitcom. Where are those shows? You know, uh, certainly we, you know, we, we see more presence of Latinos and Latinas, you know, uh, as, you know, central cast members of series. But still, I don't think th there is enough. Uh, and certainly we don't have enough Latino shows. We don't have enough Latino writers, showrunners, executives, producers, uh, directors, uh, directing shows behind the camera. For you personally, you've been, you've had so many roles, so many wonderful roles. Was there any particular one that made you say, wow, you know, all my hard work is starting to be recognized? Well, I think, you know, both Resurrection Boulevard and Ugly Betty were such landmark, iconic, breakthrough series. You know, the first one-hour drama ever, you know, starring Latinos, about Latinos, written by Latinos, produced by Latinos, directed by Latinos. So uh, that was a tremendous breakthrough uh, for us. And to be a part of it, to be the, the patriarch in the middle of that, to be the father of those children, I mean, I, I, I don't think I've ever felt more blessed and more proud, you know, more honored than then. And then, of course, again, to, you know, catch lightning in a bottle again with Ugly Betty and be the father on that show, because Ugly Betty was the first true crossover hit for Latino shows. 80% of our audience was non-Latino. 11% was African-American, 9% were Latinos. So, I mean, that was the first time we really connected with the mainstream American public, and to be the father in that, I think uh, I finally kind of achieved more recognition from the mainstream American audience, and, and that show, you know, I, I think it's the most awarded Latino show in history.